Speaker. <clears throat> My question is for the Minister of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs. As we celebrate Ontario's 20th Agriculture Week, I'm reminded of farmers in my riding of Carleton, farmers like Graham Greene and Janet Aker Smiley, and all they do to put food on Ontario's tables. However, it's also been a tough week. The USMCA will result in significant market access being given to the U.S. at the expense of Ontario's farmers. It's disappointing that our federal counterparts have created this uncertainty for our agriculture industry. Last week, our Premier and Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade went to Washington, sending a strong message that Ontario's farmers remain top of mind. Mr. Speaker, through you, Question. what will the minister do to ensure the federal government will keep the concerns of Ontario's farmers top of mind? Minister of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and thank you very much to the member for the question. Our farmers are the bedrock of our community, and we are reminded of their contributions during Ontario's 20th Agriculture Week. Indeed, it's been a rough start for the week for our supply managed sector following the USMCA. However, the Premier and I have taken immediate action to do everything in our power to help our farmers. We have met with our supply managed stakeholders to assure them that we are calling on the federal government to compensate our farmers for their losses. The federal minister, Freeland, has mentioned our farmers will be compensated fully, fairly, and for the concessions that they've made, and we will hold them to account for that. Protecting our farmers ensures that our food is protected safe and of the best quality. Our government is committed to working with our farmers Spons. as we continue to review the USMCA. Thank you very much for your question. Supplementary. Thank you to the minister for that answer. I'm proud to be part of a government that stands up for its farmers and appreciates their contributions to our communities. I look forward to working with our government to ensure we can assist Ontario's farmers to the best of our abilities and to urge the Trudeau liber Liberals to keep Ontario's farmers top of mind. Mr. Speaker, back to the minister. Can the minister please tell us what else he is doing to uh, what else he is going to do to create an environment that is supportive and open for business for our farmers? Minister. Well, thank you uh, very much, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for the supplementary question. I also wanted to thank all the caucus members yesterday who took time to visit and take pictures of our tractors on the south driveway yesterday in celebrating Ontario Agriculture Week. Mr. Speaker, as mentioned before, our government is committed to standing up for our farmers. As we continue to review the USMCA, we will work with our farmers and urge the federal government to compensate them accordingly. Our natural gas expansion plan, if passed, will put more money into the pockets of farming families and businesses so they can continue to provide for more of the best quality food. Our plan to scrap the cap-and-trade carbon tax will also do the same, if passed, to put more money back into the pockets of taxpayers. We're cutting red tape and regulations as seen first through our changes to our wildlife damage compensation program, with more announcements to follow. On June 8, our government was elected to make Ontario open for business again. We have taken immediate action to make life more affordable and efficient for our farming.